Please remember, if you're going to work on gas boilers, you must be gas safe registered or competent to do so. My name's Alan Hart and today we're taking out, we're taking out a Wiesman and it's a Wiesman 333. So I thought what I'd do is, as I strip it down, I'll show you what it's like inside. The customer has had some issues with this. With this boiler, um, I'm not sure what the issues have been. I, I've never worked on this boiler, um, but we're going to take this out. We're going to put a new Wiesman 111 in on this job, and that comes with a 10 year parts and labour warranty. So then, obviously, customers, it's trouble free them for customers. If there's any issues, manufacturers will cover it under warranty. Um, but what we'll do now, I'll strip this down. Obviously, we're going to turn power off, turn water off and make sure everything's safe before we start stripping it down. So yeah, let's have a look now. Just remove the front cover off now and all this screws are missing. So we'll strip this down now. Just take this top off. Got the expansion vessel on the left hand side. And then we've got the, the burner in here. I'll remove that. Um, the burner and the heat exchanger. I'll take that cover off and show you inside there shortly. We've got the pump in there. So there's a pump here, and then there's also a pump on that side as well. Also got a plate heat exchanger there. Part of that's been changed recently, don't know. So I've just got two screws underneath here now. Just undo these two screws, and what I'll do then, put Danny back there, look, straight away at the camera. <laughs> How you doing Danny? Good. You say night to everybody. They've been missing you. Hello. And that's what it looks like inside a Wiesman 333. So we've got his heat exchanger there, now we've got his burner that goes in. I'll strip this down and we'll have a look what it looks like inside. There's fan on there. Just remove the sides off now. They're just on some little connectors here, just unscrew them out. One there and one at the bottom down there. And that side panel just lifts off quite easy, really. Also, the same on the other side as well. To isolate the gas on this, it's just got a gas valve there. Oh, it's just got a. Um, just got a valve to turn it off. So if you're going to service one of these, that's where you'd be able to turn it off from, on here. And then obviously you'd be able to take all this burner and stuff out. To remove the burner, you just need a 10mm socket set, and then just undo these nuts on here. The four screws out now, I'm just going to take the burner out. I've got my cameraman, Danny, open me a minute. These have got a fancy, fancy dome burner. A little bit different than, different than any other buyer on market, I believe. So as I say, that's your dome burner. Just have a look in there, we've got a stepper motor. So that's a diverter valve, that'll be turning it from Heating to hot water cylinder. 
and then this will just work just like a normal boiler really I think just like a normal combi so that'll be pump for central heating and then you've got you've got pump there that's for the hot water part of it so it pumps around um, around the, the tank here you see there you pump there you pipe off your pump there goes down down there into the bottom when we take this plate to plate out here you can see it's also got some connections behind there. There, look. water in this is quite mucky as well just smash the flow off on there now. Just have a look what's inside this part of the cylinder at the bottom now. Just take this off here. This has got an anoid in here, which you're supposed to change. They don't always get changed very often. Just have a look inside there. Looks what it looks like inside. So just got water in there. Obviously, this would normally be full of water. We've drained it down. If you wanted to change one of these cylinders, say it were leaking or something like that, there's some nuts, bolts underneath. So it'd be quite tricky to do with that when it's in place. Obviously we've got we've got it half out now. <laughs> Remove the boiler out of the way now. Just going to tidy up a bit in here, but if we can see there, it has a jig on the wall, and then it has these these flexi pipes. Just have a look at the water in this system. It's definitely mucky, so we're going to have to do a really good flush on this. So now we've got the boiler out, before we even do a power flush or anything like that, we can do a mains flush. So you can see here, we've got the filling loop here. I've opened the filling loop slightly. And we've got cold water going in. It's going into that pipe there. And if we have a look down there, there's a stop end on that pipe. So what that's doing now, this cold water is going all the way around the heating system in the house. And then it's coming back down here and it's going to my, into my hose pipe and out to the drain. And I can leave this flushing for hours and hours and hours now while I'm doing other bits. So when I start marking out wall out, etc., it's just flushing. I'll just show you outside now. It's got a whole boiler there. We are going to do a full power flush on this, but we might as well get as much of a look out as we can before we start. So that's just a brief look inside of a Wiesman Vitadens 333. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. I'm going to be doing this job now for the next probably two or three days. And we're going to install a Wiesman 111 in here. 
and um, the new boiler will have a 10 year parts and labor warranty and yeah it'll be a really good job for customers so i'm gonna i'll video i'll video that install as well we're gonna power flush alt system um put a filter on um, we're gonna install a nest onto this customer wants wants a nest installing um yeah so it'll be a, it'll be a really good job for them as i say if you've got any questions please ask them in comments below and thank you for watching